You probably keep hearing about the Keystone XL pipeline that has a bunch of people pressuring President Barack Obama to accept or reject it. But what is it and what will it do? First, let's talk tar sands. They can be found all over the world, but are heavily concentrated in Canada. It's a mix of clay, sand, and a molassesy oil that can be extracted. The world's most prominent climate scientist called it a carbon bomb. He warns exploiting tar sands will be game over for the climate. Mining oil from tar sands isn't like sticking a straw in the ground and having oil guzzle up. To get the good stuff, you have to cut down forests and extract heavy crude from an area the size of England. Then, to squeeze the oil out of the sand, you have to boil the ground, which takes huge amounts of water and energy. From the tar sands to your car tank, this oil produces 17% more greenhouse gas emissions than regular oil. It also leaves behind toxic pools of chemicals, which are poisoning lakes and rivers. And they've been linked to rare forms of cancer in wildlife and people. But it doesn't just affect Canadians, because that oil will be moving all the way across the continent. The Keystone XL pipeline would carry this oil from Alberta, Canada, all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. The oil industry touts it as the safest and most advanced pipeline. But it's going to cross over the Ogallala Aquifer, so environmentalists worry about leaks and oil spills. On top of the environmental concerns, Native American groups and ranchers are also against the pipeline because it will cross over their land without even asking. Canada has the world's third largest oil reserves, and the U.S. is its largest customer. So building pipelines equals energy independence from foreign sources and more jobs. But not really. Still, the oil lobby is gung-ho. But at least one company is having doubts because extraction is so expensive, oil prices need to stay over 100 bucks a barrel to even make it worth it. And even if the pipeline isn't approved, the rising global demand for oil means the tar sands is going to find a way out. Obama said he'd only approve Keystone if it does not significantly exacerbate the problem of carbon pollution. Hmm, what do you think he should do?